What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce Wang and in today's video, I'm going to go over uh, my scam story. So recently, I've been um, growing my YouTube channel and my social media accounts, gaining a lot of um, new subscribers, a lot of new followers on my social media, on my uh, YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I've been getting a lot of people uh, coming to me asking for questions, asking for donations, and um, asking all, all sorts of things. So I'm used to I'm used to like uh, messaging people, um, giving them very direct answers. If they're asking me for, if anybody is asking me for donations, I'm just gonna tell you straight up no. Um, if anybody's gonna ask me to manage their uh, crypto portfolio, I'm obviously gonna say no. I'm not a professional finance advisor, so uh, you know I only make these videos for entertainment purposes and just to also show just to show and document my, my journey into this crypto space and crypto world. Also, uh, I want to let you guys know that in this crypto space, it's like the wild, wild west. You can't trust anybody. And if someone's asking you uh, for your private keys, obviously just say no. If anybody's gonna ask you for like your passwords or your your accounts or anything in regards to your uh, Bitcoins and altcoins and whatnot and your uh, like Coinbase accounts and Binance accounts, just say no. If someone's uh, offering you something that's uh, too good to be true, obviously don't uh, just say no to that as well. And uh, just be aware of the risk involved. Cryptocurrency is very risky, is very volatile. Like as in today, if we look at the coin market cap, you know, Bitcoin dropped 10% in the last 24 hours. So. Uh, a lot of people that has been messaging me told me that they bought Bitcoin at 19,000, 18,000, 17,000 and now that it dropped to 13,000, like what are they going to do? I just tell them straight up, you guys you have to either hold it, if you sell it, you're going to lose, you're going to lose out cuz you can't you only lose when you sell. Uh, it's better if they just uh, if they want to sell it, they have to, if they have a weak hand, then go ahead just sell it, you know? Like in these types of markets, the whales and the people with a lot of cash, they really will test your hands. If your hands are weak, if you if you see like a 10% drop, you wanna sell. If you see a 15% drop, you wanna sell. That's when these whales, they pick up your Bitcoins at such a, a, a good price. And then obviously the price will eventually go up if you're bullish on uh, Bitcoin. So let's get into my scam story. Exactly about one month ago is when I start really pushing on my YouTube. So I've gained over about four, th pretty, I went from almost zero subscribers to 4,000 subscribers in one month. So right now, we're, I'm looking at my, uh, my pages inbox. So a lot of people uh, that follow me on, find, find me on YouTube, contact me on Facebook. And so I, you know, I chat, I chat with, I chat with the, I, I chat with my subscribers, you know, it's, it's normal. He's gonna remain nameless because I don't want to. I don't know what type of legal action that um, he could uh, pursue if I give out his information. But this guy legit tried to scam me, and um, the story begins like this. Uh, last night he messaged me. I didn't get back to him until early in the morning. He asked me a very simple question: Can you help me claim my Bitcoin Cash? And then you know, like I'm not. I don't know why he didn't know how to claim his Bitcoin cash, so I'm asking him something very general, like, do you have your private keys? Because um, generally, if you have your private keys, you can uh, claim your Bitcoin cash uh, from wherever it is. But if you had it on um, some types of exchanges and whatnot, you might not be able to get them. So that's the first thing you need to know to claim uh, any, any Bitcoin forks. Secondly, uh, he said, yes, sure, it is this work. So he's, um, he's from a European country, uh, I think he's from uh, Estonia, so I, I, I'll give out this information, I'm just not going to give out his name. So this is a, a man, no, let's call him Philip. So Philip, he starts um, sending me like his wallet information, he sends me this photo right here. And in this photo, he claimed uh, 21 Bitcoin cash to a value of $51,000. And I was like, wow. 
You know, that's, that's pretty crazy. You have a lot of Bitcoin cash. Uh, good for you. So apparently he did find his Bitcoin cash. So in the end, I thought, oh, I helped him out. And then I thought it was gonna be over. But then the story continues. He starts, ask, he starts asking me very uh, strange questions. Oh, I don't wanna, oh, okay. I don't wanna keep this coin because I just wanna invest in Bitcoins. So then the next thing popped in my mind was like, uh, just put it onto exchange, buy Bitcoins from the exchange. I have a lot of videos that shows people how to buy Bitcoins. I mean, how to exchange uh, what altcoins for Bitcoins and vice versa. So, you know, I, uh, I told him, check, check out, uh, I told him go on Binance. Very, very user friendly uh, website. You can um, get your Bitcoins there. And then he starts saying, I will sell it even if I got 20,000 for this 21 Bitcoin cash. I don't care. It's in last free coin. It means this, I exchange it with two Bitcoins. So what he's telling me from here is that he wants to uh, exchange $50,000 worth of Bitcoins for two Bitcoins. Uh, so right now, two Bitcoins cost uh, less than $30,000. Uh, it would probably like 26,000 right now. And in my mind, I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Like, does he not know the value of like Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash? So I'm assuming he's a complete noob, but then he's not really a noob because he was able to have like uh, 21 Bitcoins at some time in, in the past, right? So then the story gets like stranger and stranger from there on. He's saying, I don't know how to exchange on, uh, on exchange, okay? Uh, watch my video, you can learn from there. He's like, I just bought Bitcoin since 11 months ago. That is all and I forgot about it. And I was like, wow, you are one lucky guy. You got you got into crypto 11 months ago. 11 months ago, uh, Bitcoins was probably only six, less than $1,000, so. So then everything starts checking out. I would assume, okay, maybe this guy isn't a scammer. Maybe he's just, he's just a noob and then he just forgot about it. Like he bought it and forgot about it. It, it happens, that's normal. Uh, moving on, and then he asked me, he asked me, can I exchange these Bitcoin cash for him? And I was like, you want me to exchange your Bitcoin cash? And then I'm just thinking, uh, why don't you do it yourself? It's very easy. And he was like, no, I don't know how to do it. I want you to help me, please help me. I'm telling him, you know, I don't want to lose, I don't want your Bitcoin cash. I don't want, you know, I don't want anything to do with it because in case like he sends it and then he loses it, his information and then all his, all his Bitcoin cash is gone. He's gonna blame me. He might sue me and what like, like all these crazy stuff can happen. And then he 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 tries to make a deal with me. So, uh, his deal was to. Let me see if I can find it. His deal right here. His deal was, I, I even said, I even asked him. He tried to make a deal with me. And I even tried to ask him, to be clear, uh, he's gonna send me 21 Bitcoin cash and I will send him 0.15, uh, I, I typed it wrong here, 0.15 Bitcoins, which is equal to $2,000 USD, question mark. And then he says, yes. And I was like, uh, are you sure this is what you wanna do? And then he sends me his address. You can send me, give me your Bitcoin, ca uh, uh, I'm assuming Bitcoins. And then I was like, what? You know, WTF, just stop wasting my time. After then, I was like, this guy, man, I just, I wanna show you his name so bad just so you can go on his Facebook and, and I, like, I wanna report him too, but, you know, like, I actually spent time talking to him. You know, because I thought I was trying to help, I was helping him out. And in the end, he, all he wanted to do was, he wanted me to send him 0.15 Bitcoins. And then he was going to send me 21 Bitcoin cash. Like how gullible, how, how idiotic does he think I am that I would do that for him? 
it's like uh, you know I lose faith I lose faith in humanity sometimes when 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 things like this happen so we're just bantering back and forth and I'm telling him you know just I don't want to deal with you just stop messaging me you know I'm trying to end this on a good term even like I'm trying to be as professional as possible I don't want like you know I thought and then in my mind I was like oh man this is gonna make for uh, maybe an interesting video um, and he keeps he keeps trying to make a make a claim, you know, make a make a case for himself. He's like, oh man, like you know, like he thought I was gonna scam him, and you know, I never wanted his uh, Bitcoin Cash. I was just trying to see like how like what was his thinking, and you know, things like this, if they can happen to me, they they're gonna happen to you. Like one day you're gonna get a message from some random stranger saying, "Oh, I like, I I need help," and then you help him out, and then he's like, "Oh man, I'm gonna give you a deal. Do this, do that, do this," and then he's gonna ask you for money. Just if it sounds too good to be true, don't do it. And uh, obviously, I tried to end it on a nice day. After I said all this stuff to him, I was just like, um, you know, I don't want to do any business with you. Like I said, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna send you anything. Goodbye. He said, "Have a nice day." I give him a thumbs up. He gives me a thumbs up, and then I just put him in the spam folder, and and now we now we're here, just talking about it. Like I'm I'm here to help you guys out with very basic information. Uh, like the thing that the things that I'm doing for you, like with you guys and the and, and the questions I'm answering, they're not rocket science. You know, that's why it's like, I'm confident in answering a lot of your questions. But to, to have some guy like message me and just like outright blatantly try to scam me makes me just not want to do it at all, you know? But I feel like, this, like as my channel keeps growing, a lot, of, a lot of stuff like this is gonna happen. And I might not just, I might just stop answering a lot of people on Facebook, um, basically, but yeah, just uh, you know, just be careful out there. Make sure you guys keep your make sure you guys keep your information safe. Make sure you know your 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 cryptos on a hardware wallet. Um, try not to keep too much money on exchange. Very very basic stuff. And um, if someone comes to you with uh, if someone named Philip comes to you and asks you to do an exchange for him and asks you to send him some money before he sends you some money, just, that sounds too good to be true, don't do it. And uh, hopefully you guys got something from this. And uh, yeah, don't do, don't do business with strangers, pretty much. And this crypt, and again, like this crypto world is crazy. Make sure when you're doing something, you know the risk involved, is a lot easier to spend money than, than to make money. So, you know, try not to, you know, try not to lose your money because crypto is, is in a way, uh, f like is money. Like you can spend it, you can buy physical, you can buy physical things with it. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys are still here and still have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, show me some love. Uh, hit the notification to know when I'm posting up new videos. Uh, I'm trying to crack. 4K right now. I'm only uh, 65. Uh, I'm only 55 away from 4,000 subscribers. And uh, if you guys don't mind, you guys can watch a video. This video here and this video here. The subscribe button will be right here if you guys want to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.